Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Look at that unsure energy. Got my six, mean to have my back because I have yours. The unsure energy comes with the Ten of Cups. Excuse me. Uh, the Ten of Cups is, you know, happy life happy wife it's happiness but something is causing you to feel unsure about whether it says uh disconnected family or story and a uh, storybook ending so something about your life and your happiness oh yeah and the magician you being able to create the life that you want four of wands energy um you know so when it comes with the four of wands the four of wands is harmony and peace so there's no happiness harmony and peace when it comes to what you've created it says resourceful creator the willpower master manifester inspired action concentration and um, resourceful intellect so the magician is in the upright so you have manifested something or created uh, something and when it comes to this unsure energy you're regretting something in regards to maybe a situation ship maybe a relationship maybe a job or something and so you basically have to get to a point to where you're deciding what it is that you want to do for yourself and so that is kind of how i see that um with the magician being here it's not that you're able to man you're not able to manifest you are at a point to where yeah this relationship is causing you to look at things um but the good thing is that it's not in the it's not in the reverse with unhealthy attachments. Yeah, Knight of Cups uh, following your heart. So this here is not letting you or allowing you to follow your heart to create the things that you want. And also it be, it's because it has strings attached. Six of Pentacles energy, six of coins energy. It's a one sided love, a one sided situation. And um, it says companionship, mutual feelings, new partners, agreements and sync. So at some point, the things you've been manifesting is coming from you following your heart, but there are strings attached to this old situations that you just want to kind of look at for what it is. And yeah, the queen of coins, queen of pentacles, we are the mother of the zodiac. You know, like JDS Tarot says, the queen of pentacles can be toxic because uh, the queen of pentacles will do anything. It, the queen of pentacles will give her all here. Her, his or her all when it comes to love and family and harmony and peace just to keep the peace and so this being unsure um the queen of pentacles says confidence shines from the inside when you love yourself own your flaws and rock them without caring excuse me that's the queen of wands i'm sorry i'm reading the wrong thing so when i learned tarot i learned those sayings so the queen of pentacles is a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life protect and care for them no matter what and that no matter what that's what jds tarot means that the queen of pentacles can be toxic to herself because she will do he or she will do whatever it takes when it comes to family friends relationships situationships and sometimes that means pouring from their cup until there's nothing else left and that is where you are um and why you're unsure of if you should stay or if you should go. Um, because, again, you know, you will do anything for peace, happiness, and harmonious energy. But what if that's not there? And for the matters of the heart, it says artistic, attraction, tactful, proposal, and invitation, affectionate, uh, chivalrous. It says romantic, uh, charming, psychic, and grace. But if you don't have that, you have one-sided condition, conditional giving, um, subservience. It says unpaid debts, dependence, greed, and being undervalued. If you have that in your life, there's no room for any type of love situation to a cup's energy, no types of situations to where you're able to have a relationship or that you actually have a relationship. So this is being questioned, especially when it comes to what you will do and how you're able to manifest. If you're trying to manifest without, uh, without support, and you're in a situationship because this is not a relationship and you don't feel confident enough or you don't feel the need to, yeah, you nine times out of 10, you don't have any lack of direction or lack of support. It says dishonest with self and others. Yeah, you're lying to yourself, staying in the wrong, staying for all for the wrong reasons in limbo and faking happiness. This is what happens when you start, when you really know it's time to walk away, but you aren't doing it. 
you're just staying and trying to manifest and work hard on other situations and not what it is that you know you need to be working on. A cart fell on the floor. Let me get it. Hold on. Yep. Nine of Cups. Emotionally, emotionally fulfillment. Complete, completely content. Wishes come true. Feeling good, full, happy, and satisfied. So you're getting this from outside of this situationship. Hmm. Yeah. So maybe you're meeting people outside of this and you're deciding because you know that. And I met this couple the other day. And it was, I remember, um, what is it, Avant and uh, the My First Love. I don't remember. What's her name With that can sing? Uh, Kiki White and Avant my first love and so I met this couple the other day and they were talking about that they were in a relationship like and they looked it good when I tell you they looked so good they were in their 70s and they looked like they were in their early 50s okay they looked good and so I met them and I was talking to them I'm nosy I talk to everybody so you guys think I talk a lot here I talk to everyone and so when I met them when I met them um I was telling them, yes, Seven of Wands energy. Uh, it says licking your wounds, conflict, avoidance, compromise, backing down, make amends, live to fight another day, call, lost cause, and re, uh, relent. So, yeah, this is how you feel. But anyway, tower energy, damn. So the tower energy is a narrow escape, disaster averted, near miss, resisting change, stall, delay, and, and delay the inviteable. So that was what it was, the tower in the reverse they delayed everything when it came to what it is, the expecting the unexpected. This is something that's being delayed. But back to the couple. I'm going to say this why I start to pull from another deck. But when the couple, when I met them, you know, I was like, it was their, uh, what was it? One of their birthdays. Yeah, the heart, matters of the heart. Yeah, it was one of their birthdays, and they were on vacation. And so I was like, oh, okay. I was like uh, talking to them, and. They basically were just like um, that they both were married. Uh, one had got married two times, and they were both in previous marriages. And um, they said the other marriage, it's not meant for this to come out, it was saying their marriages, they had ran into each other on social media. And so they haven't been together or been around each other. They were boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, obstacles, yeah. They were boyfriend and girlfriend, Um Let's see, I think they said like 30, 30, 40 years ago, um, high school, college. So, uh, yeah, probably like 40 years ago, true love. Mm, oh, yep, it's getting good because this is what basically it is in honor. So bottom of the deck is the connection. Okay, so they said that they hadn't been together and hadn't seen each other in over 40 years. They ran or 40 something years. They ran back into each other on social media. She saw him um, and kind of reached out and said, hey, how you doing? You know, this is you. And and she was like saying to herself, oh, he looked good or whatever. And then he turned around and they started, they talked on the phone one time. They talked on the phone and they were divorced six months later. She had kids, he had kids, but they both were still in marriages. They both got divorced within six months of talking and having that first conversation because they understood each other. And their connection when they had, it was like he made her mad as a young, young kid or whatever and so she went and they had they got their own different uh life and they had you know a husband and a wife and they weren't happy and so they ended up talking six months later they did it right they got a divorce after being in and having kids grown kids that you know and in, in a situation that doesn't didn't love that didn't appreciate them and so what happened is that first conversation that they had they were able to realize that they appreciated each other and that was the obstacles, the matters of the heart, the true love and the honor that they always had for each other. And they connected. And so they're due to get married within it's been almost a year. So they're getting married soon. So that whole thing lets you know that sometimes life does happen in the process. And we make permanent decisions on temporary emotions and not sure how to walk away or how to end things when it comes to matters of the heart and what we really know and the strings that we have attached, the one-sided energies, people who don't really appreciate you. And then you turn around and you meet that person or you rekindle a, a relationship with a person who things were never really that bad. 
it was just, you know, they had growing up to do. And when they grow up and you run back into them or you meet somebody who has healed from the past traumas, then you turn around and, you know, you can get and understand each other more than anything else. And it just goes back to reminding me, and I know this is like trauma, a lost case. Yeah, this is a lost case. But, uh, yeah, uh, it just reminds me of when last night, uh, the other night I watched, I want to say the other night, yeah, highs and lows, I watched the Fifty Shades of Grey series, and I watched all of it, you know. And you guys tell me if you guys believe that that is, yep, Twin Flames. If you guys believe that one is a cancer and the other is either Aries or a Gemini, tell me. I think Christian Gray is a Gemini or Aries, and I think Anastasia Steele ha it has the possibility of being a cancer or a, I would say, give or take Libra. Not sure. You tell me. But anyway, yeah, one goal, two ways, right? Highs and lows, a gift in the lost case, and the Twin Flames is also here. So the connection comes. So basically, watching that, watching that one person that you run into can change your whole life and be understanding and try to work with one goal, two ways. Work with you and understand that everything isn't perfect, but it can mesh if you guys work together. And like they always say, learn to communicate, right? And so sometimes in certain relationships, you're not able to communicate with somebody who feels like they, like you're just mom or you're just this person or you're that person and they don't have any respect for you. So when it comes to those types of situations, what do you do? You know, when you hear the first thing, you don't just go and you don't want to cheat on somebody. You just want to be heard. You want to be heard and be felt and you want to, you know, and sometimes like in that situation, Christian Gray was a, he wanted to be the submissive, if that's right. I don't, I don't know how to call those names or whatever, but I'm just going to say the thing is, is that it was totally different. You guys, what keeps coming on my TV is these, I want to make me a YouTube channel with the uh, crushing of the gym chalk. I'm going to do it. But anyway, so a lost case, one goal, two ways, highs and lows and gifts. And then twin flame. Let's start with the twin flame energy. You have met your twin flame. And even though it will be challenging, it can create a profound and life altering sense of wholeness. So that is where it's at. And so you could have met your twin flame that taught you, you know, you see it's on my TV that taught you. This is so satisfying. Um, that taught you something different, you know, about what life is and what love is and how to feel when it comes to certain situations taught you something and when you hear something and you you feel something then you turn around and you're like maybe I could do this and then you just take that leap and so the lost case I know I'm rambling on but the lost case says um you've experienced so much pain and you're struggling to see the purpose uh, or point of the relationship perhaps it's time to let go and begin to heal and that is where the strings attached are so sometimes it's you have to do it you know sometimes even when it comes to kids, when it comes to being and spending and wasting a lot of time of your years, you learned this lesson and had to do it. You could be attracted to someone who does things very different from you. But if you learn, to, I just said this. Damn, I didn't even know this said that. I just said if you learn to, uh, about the Christian Grey thing, it says, but if you learn to communicate, you can make it work. And so that's the thing. We get into, we make permanent decisions on temporary emotions with somebody that's not willing to communicate or to even try to compromise in a situation. Just like I said, Anastasia Steele um, compromised with Christian Gray. She never did any of the stuff that he did, but she was willing to compromise. And even though it scared the dog crap out of her, she still was able to come back and it was something that she could agree on. Just saying, you know, so everybody's relationship, what happens behind closed doors isn't everybody's business, but that could be a gift if you learn to compromise and you guys could build together. And what people think that you're not willing to do or change is when they feel like you, you know, cancer won't do this, cancer with this, and then you turn around and boom, you're gone, right? So the highs and lows. Karmic love is often, often passionate and fiery one moment, one minute, cold and distant the next, usually representing unhealed aspects of uh, um, you both, you are both working through. So that is the highs and lows of dealing with trauma or dealing with certain situations, but not communicating about it. So the highs and lows, it's like, I love you, 
you know, what is Jan- Janae Aiko song? I don't love you, but I need you. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't want you or whatever, but I need you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, or I don't need you. I don't need you, but I want you. Just like that. I think that's how it goes. But the gift is here. It says expect a gift of romantic uh, or a romantic date night invitation. Your time has come to enjoy a beautiful union filled with love and romantic gestures. And so that is where you're going to find this new situation and that new situation ship or connection. Your connection is eternal and unbreakable is going to be something that nobody can hold you back from. And so there is love outside of 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 maybe a past relationship or it, it might be love outside of what you're totally going through. But you have to be able to understand and notice that the strings attached are here and to be able to follow your heart and not when I say follow your heart, following your heart does not mean that just because you love this person at one time heart, you begin to heal faster. Uh, you begin to feel your heart beat faster when you are close. So you have to honor yourself in order to follow your heart. You have to honor yourself, do all the quirky things that you want, but you can't make a permanent decision based upon a temporary emotion. And so that's when you start to leave, lose your confidence and have to walk away from something that may take nine to 10 years to get out of. And so following your heart is understanding that things have strings attached. It's one sided and it's a lost case and it can't just be, one goal, one way, one-sided energy, which is right here at the six of coins, uh, six of coins in the reverse, because in the upright given to others wholeheartedly without expecting the same in return, you're not expecting material things. You are expecting to be in a relationship that's two-sided, one goal, two ways, but it takes communication. One goal is to love, but it takes two people in order to love and to love the certain way or to, to see a dip see a different perspective when it comes to connections and the highs and lows of a relationship so maybe i'll name this 50 shades of gray but i'm just saying i think this is a really good energy for you to be a part of but you have to know and believe that you're able to manifest the things that you want when it comes to people places and situations so we're going to pull from the law of attraction i'll pull a couple more cards yep 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 you see um but yeah i just believe that that's where you have to understand that it's not about, yeah, it's the past programming and you have to change surprise. So there's going to be a gift. There's going to be a surprise. There's going to be a connection. And also there's going to be uh, wishes come true and you're going to be completely happy and satisfied. But again, you have to follow your heart. And it says in, in a way that you wouldn't expect a gift from the universe, intense twist of fate and eclipse news. So twin flames and also the tower energy a narrow escape, you know, so delaying the inevitable. But the thing is, is that it was a delay and it had to happen. It had to tear down in order for you to meet and to get this surprise that you want, because the highs and lows teach you that love is about one goal in two ways, not one goal in one way. It's about somebody compromising for you. So no matter if you guys are opposite and don't get along or don't don't really do the same thing, it's about communication. Does that make sense? And so uh, when it comes to the law of attraction, incoming, yes, there's going to be a gift here. There's going to be somebody that surprises you. New messages, game game changers, surprise, invitation, invites, gifts, and making connections. Yeah, and that goes with this, loving, loving, a loving exchange, companionship, mutual feelings, new partners, agreements, and sync. So that is where that couple went to when they realized that the past programming is not going to work in the flow state. It's came out unsure, but it says in the zone, loving life, focused, high frequency, skilled meets challenge and flotation therapy. You're not going with the flow anymore. You're not willing to make decisions based upon temporary emotions. So in flow state, you're not in the zone anymore. You're not, you know, you're not, you're not willing to compromise anymore or just go with the flow. You're changing your frequency based upon past programming and what you've done in the past. No more one-sided energies. No more lost cases. Choose your beliefs. Yeah, exactly. And if you go listen to my last reading, which I think, oh, God, what did I call it? This whole six readings that I've done in the past uh, week, uh, it's like not six, but the last couple of days, the readings that I have done have all coincided. Changing your perspective removing the blockages you are my soulmate and they want to rekindle and the past can hurt so 
the past programming. Go and look, listen to those and uh, see how you feel. Choose your beliefs. It says recognize false stories, external conditioning, make, de- make decisions that support your goals. Make decisions that support your goal. And so that's what you're going to do. You're going to make decisions that support your goal. That's going to encourage you to create, to follow your heart, and not just have you licking your wounds. It's understanding that there's a compromise when it comes to the seven of wands uh, being in the reverse. It says conflict avoidance, compromise, backing down, making amends, live to fight another day, lost cause, and relent. And so the thing is, is that the gift is going to come to you. You're not going to have to lick your own wounds. You're going to understand the lost case. You're going to honor yourself, your heart, and understand that the highs and lows taught you that there is one goal and two ways to do it, especially when it comes to love. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from the four agreements, and that's uh, by Don Miguel Ruiz. I'll put the link up above of my perspective of the four agreements. And then also... um, the chakras. The chakras are, um, my perspective will be there. Be impeccable with your words. Say what you want, mean what you say. Not staying in a one-sided situation. Past programming, staying and speaking your mind, not just going with the flow. But you have to communicate clearly. Communicate with clarity. So it says, release the power of your word. Your word is the power that, that you have to create. And it's all about creating, right? And it says, it's a gift that comes directly from God. So again, you have, you are going to find someone that completes you and not depletes you, but you're not going to stay around for things that don't honor your heart and your values and your creativity. Um, And it takes a long time. Again, you have to unlearn to relearn, change your belief systems. If you have, if you want to know a little bit more about that, again, go to the read that I did uh, right earlier, which is changing your perspective on what is it changing your perspective on um, takers make sense and so communicate with clarity I mean, don't make assumptions you know don't assume communication with others as clear com- excuse me communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid misunderstanding sadness and drama if all humans would communicate with impeccability of the word all of our relationships would change there will be no wars no violence and no misunderstanding so the highs and lows teaches you to communicate clearly not to make assumptions and, you know, realize the power of your word, you know, and that's the reason why I say send strength and healing period. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, or situation was here to teach you a lesson. And the lesson was to understand and honor your heart. All right, two cards come out. Again, click the links up above for the crystal decks and to understand what they are. The amethyst, I have 30 million amethysts around here in the Peter site. I think I'm saying that right. That's behind me on my desk behind me. It says third eye and solar plex chakra, transforming, release, and intuitive. It says, I honor my inner truth and power. And it says, realize the power of your word and honor your heart. I honor my inner truth and power. That's why you're not going to make assumptions and you're going to be impeccable with your word. The amethyst is third eye and crown chakra. Purification, spirituality, and protection. Purification, spirituality, and protection. Um, It says, infinite possibilities are available to me. Infinite possibilities are available to me. So you're not going to give up. You're going to realize your power, and you're going to take it back. And the connections that you have moving forward will have one goal in two ways. So um, let's go ahead and let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.